In this video, we're going to construct the ultimate video editing PC by a total newbie. See the disaster. It's going to have a 4090 and a 13900K on this sweet beast of a machine. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush video editing and whatever game you want and find the GPU or console that you want. So before we start putting it together, I'm just going to go through the basic build here. This is a 4090-13900K, 24K, 24-core uh, CPU by Intel. Uh, we got two terabytes of SSD. This is a Western Digital 770 uh, M.2. Uh, we've got a heat, a special heat sink for that. We got 128 DDR4 3600 RAM CL18. Uh, we got a, a Z690 Wi-Fi motherboard, an Antex DF700 case, which is big enough for any of the 4090 GPUs, and we've got a, a 1250 watt gold power supply unit and a Noctua. D NHD 15 CPO cooler with an extra fan because the stock fan's not going to fit uh, on the the outer side, uh, but we also have extra fans on the top. This this actual case came with five fans, but we're going to use uh, I think nine or ten fans in the final build, and we had extra fans. So you first thing you want to do is you want to flash the BIOS because if you've got a new uh, new CPU, it's probably not going to be on your BIOS, so you want to go through that. We've got a video about that. So this is the stock fan with the NHD15 cooler. Uh, it would not fit in the case in terms of the getting the glass in, so we knock to it does allow you to put the 120 fan instead of the 140 fan. We were waiting on the i9 uh, so Ann Online had the best prices, but they were a little bit slow shipping, so they took them about a week to ship, and so that kind of delayed when we put it together. We had pre-ordered this from the first pre-order day, uh, but I think now on Amazon you can get it for about the same price, and we'll have a link for that. Uh, and then uh, the uh, you want to make sure you get a 1700 socket. Uh, so you also want to make sure that you line up the the triangle on the uh, 13th gen CPU. So you so we want to lift uh, push down on the lever and then lift that up, and then we'll be able to lift up the the uh, cover, and then we want to carefully place uh, the. CPU. We don't want to touch any of the gold parts. We only touch the side. Definitely don't want to touch the the spikes coming out of the motherboard there. And we just want to drop it in after lining up that triangle there. And it's you want to make sure that it fits in. It's not at an angle or anything. Uh, you can touch the top. That's okay. And then I found it a bit tricky on the MSI motherboard here. That thing did not line up perfectly, so it was a bit tricky to get it. It's supposed to pop out as you're putting it down, and you can see I eventually got it to pop out. Uh, and then it's it's a little bit uh, uh, pressure to put down that. Uh, and then then you're done. Hopefully you don't have to do it again. And then. Then uh, we put in the RAM after this because uh, once we put on the, the CPU cooler, the air cooler, it's going to be hard to put in the RAM. So the, the CPU cooler just fits over the RAM. It's just RAM compatible with the smaller fan on it. Uh, we went with an air cool system instead of an AIO because I have experience on boats which have a lot of water pumps, a lot of different types of pumps, also fuel pumps. And pumps fail, and uh, you know if your if your cooling uh, system fails, then your whole motherboard and your uh, CPU could fail. So I I just feel better with uh, something that I can uh, easily observe, uh, like fans, uh, instead of using pumps. So you need to put the bracket on that you want to make sure you get a air cooler with a bracket. We've got 
we're using the DH15 uh, by Noctua, which does have a compatible bracket for that, the LGA1700. And then they recommend five dots, a big dot in the middle, and then uh, four dots on, on each corner. So, and that, that is, uh, the thermal paste is supplied with the Noctua cooler, which, you know, it was about a hundred dollars, uh, when I, uh, bought it, uh, but then I had to pay another $30 for the, the smaller fan. And then I, I have a 1400 fan, which I, I, I don't have a use for at the moment. So you can see I didn't do perfect dots there, but it was okay. Uh, and then, and then you're going to screw it down, right? And that's how you attach it. So you see, we're doing all this work in the box in, in just this, we're using the, the MSI motherboard box to, to put together the motherboard first. And then we're gonna lift it by the the cooler itself, right? Because once you get that screwed down, that cooler is really strong. You you have to take out the middle fan and then you put the middle fan back in. Make sure you don't put in the fans backwards. So keep track of which direction your airflow is going, right? So it's go, for us, it's going in the front and out the top and out the back, right? So it goes in the bottom, front, inward, and then out the top. And then uh, for the, the GPU, uh, that really, I thought the, the GPU, the 4090 was just too big to put in until we screwed in the motherboard on the, the unit. So I didn't want to carry the motherboard with the GPU. And on a smaller GPU, you could do that, but I think with with a 4090, which is just a brick, you need to, it, it just will, you put it in while, after the motherboard's been secured in the case. Uh, you can see the bracket there is not super good. Uh, the the mother the uh, the 4090 really clicked in really quickly, and then it was really I think would be hard to remove the 4090 uh, to get out your finger underneath there because uh, it's just so big uh, to remove it. So you want to make sure you have all the connections on the bottom of the motherboard there uh, done before you you put in everything and I, that was a mistake I made and I had to go back and it was a bit of a trouble but you can see how the bracket kind of sags and we ended up putting in a fan underneath there uh, just because uh, just to prevent the sag one thing I didn't put on the list was a ten dollar uh, pillar that I bought later that that is made for cases and it has like a magnet on the bottom just to give it that much more support. So you can see how the fan there is kind of holding it up and gives it a little bit more airflow. So the air is coming up from the bottom, it's coming from the front of the case and then it's going out the back of the case and out of the top, right? So you want to make sure that the fans are correctly aligned. Uh, and then the last thing is just screw in the, the Wi-Fi, um, you know, Wi-Fi is going to add to the cost of your motherboard by, in this case, I think it was like um, $50, $60. So, uh, you know. Okay, so we have the moment of truth. I think we're about ready to uh, get the, uh, the uh, 4090, 13900K system up and running. Uh, we've got, I think everything hooked up, but you never know. I'm gonna, it's telling me that I should start it and then restart it uh, before I put in the Windows key. That's what my manual is saying. I thought I should put in the Windows uh, thumb drive before that, but we'll just do what they tell us to. So we got the Windows thumb drive ready to go and we'll see what happens. Okay, fingers crossed, we're gonna push the power button. Whoa, look at that, there's there's lights. Okay, the lights went on, but uh, it it restarted itself. Oh, now, it, now we're seeing the BIOS. And I did put in the Windows disk. So the install went really well. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see any real problems. I just made one error that I installed Windows on the, uh, the hard drive, not the boot drive. So one of the things I didn't list because I didn't think that was basic to the system, uh, was I added a 12 terabyte hard drive. And so you obviously don't wanna install Windows on that, you wanna install that on your boot drive, the M.2. The, the Western Digital 770, I think, was what I had, uh, which I also put on a, 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 a Sabrin heatsink, because I didn't like the motherboard heatsink, I didn't think it was very good. Uh, but 
that, so I ended up, I sorted that out and now it's installed on the, the correct drive. And that, that was probably what took me the most time uh, on the day of the build after it was done. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, I would say, you know, if it's a video editing rig, you probably want to have uh, probably multiple M.2 drives, right? So I've got a four terabyte drive, which I just physically moved uh, from the uh, 3080 rig that I have, a 3080-10850K, and then I moved that, uh, and the motherboard, the, the uh, Z690 Pro MSI has, I think, four slots, four M.2 slots. One was covered up by the, the 4090, and then two on the bottom you can access. Uh, and so I put it on one of those. Uh, and the hardest thing there was to, to screw in the screw. Um, my recommendation is use tape if you cannot get your hand in there. Use tape on the screw, and then once the screw is screwed in, then the tape will come off, right? Because once it's secured, but use the tape to keep it on there. I, if you have a, a screwdriver that has a magnetic, that would be even better. And I didn't have one at the time when I was installing it, but then, but it recognized it right away. So I didn't have any problems with that install. Uh, in terms of video editing, I think uh, this is like way better than the 3080. Uh, it's much snappier. You can you can scrub video a lot quicker. Uh, I was looking in Task Ma Manager, and Task Manager was having the 4080. Um, you know, Task Manager was having the 4080 uh, uh, at or the 3080. Sorry, the 3080. I had a 3080. This is a 4090. The 3080 uh, was getting to its max usage on the task manager versus the 4090, I've not seen that. So it, it, it just feels smoother. I was having also crashing issues with the, the 3080. Uh, I've not had any crashing issues, but maybe I've not pushed it as much as I can. So time will tell how much uh, improved it is, but I do think it, it is a, a big improvement in terms of the video editing. Uh, and then the, I, I think, yeah, so I, I think you could add to the cost for 3,600, definitely, uh, you know, you're going to want to probably have bigger drives, right? That, those were the, the things that were not on the 3,600 list. And of course that's before tax and those are U.S. prices. Um, and you know, I paid retail for everything, didn't pay a scalper for the, the 4090, right? So that's going to cut down on costs. Uh, you should follow at Linus Wilson at, on Twitter if you would like to secure a 4090 uh, or a 13900K. Uh, we're always following these uh, these gaming details or console details on my Twitter. Uh, subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to get the console or GPU that you want. And we help you crush open world RPG games like God of War Ragnarok. Bye-bye.